Okay, the following is a video over 0 0.3 notes, and this is simple probability. Uh, probability is something that you guys use all the time. You see it all the time. You may not realize it, but it exists in everything around you. Uh, and, and, and we base this on a 0 to 1 scale, okay? Um, and this picture kind of helps, you know, determine whether something is going to happen, okay? So typically you would see this on a on the weather channel uh, if you look at like the you know the, the five day outlook on the weather channel app on the phone uh, you would see that you know maybe tomorrow you've got a 25 percent chance of rain which really isn't probably going to happen um, but you know it could happen but let's say that two days later you've got an 80 percent chance of rain and that's probably a better indicator that it will rain that day. Um, and sometimes you see those those times when it's going to 100% chance of rain, and um, and you know it's going to rain. The weird thing is is that every now and then you you uh, you know it'll be pouring rain, and you'll look at the at the weather app, and all of a sudden it says that it's a 20% chance of rain, and it, it's a little little confusing. So. Um, but, you know, no one's perfect, especially me. So, um, in any case, uh, let's kind of talk about what probability is and the notation that we use. And I like to use this, okay? And I do this. The probability, P, parenthesis, of the event occurring. Okay, so probability of an event that occurs is equal to the expected outcome, expected outcome, divided by the total outcomes, okay? And so a lot of games are based on probability. A lot of, like, table games uh, in casinos are based on simple probability. Um, and so they use all these properties to, to uh, you know, to, to, to give you odds and payouts and stuff like that. So it's kind of interesting. So there are a lot of applications to probability in statistics. Okay, uh, example one. Okay, so find the probability. So suppose that a die, and a die is a six-sided, um, you know, cube with one through six. Um, suppose a die is rolled. What is the probability of rolling an odd number? So here's what you've got. You've got a choice. If you roll a die, you can get a one, you can get a two, you can get a three, you can get a four. Oh, dear. One, two, three. You can get a four, you can get a five, or you can roll a six. Okay. And so if you roll a die, okay, you've got six total outcomes. And I want to know, okay, if I've got six outcomes, I've got an odd number here, one is an odd number, three is an odd number, and five is an odd number. So my expected outcome, okay, is three. So I have a three is my expected outcome. I've got three possible and three possible events that could occur out of six total possible. So total expected outcome, or sorry, three expected outcomes. So let's actually write this out how I would want you to write this out. So it's asking, what is the probability of rolling an odd number? So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the probability, so P parentheses, of an odd number in this case. And all I'm going to do is take my expected outcomes, which is 3, and divide that by my total outcomes, which is 6. And that, as a fraction, can be simplified to 1 half, which is also the same as 50%. Okay? So that's kind of that's what I want to see. Okay? You could do 1 half, and 1 half as a decimal is 0.5. Okay? 0.5 as a percentage is 50%. So uh, any one of these three numbers is reasonable. But when we talk about probabilities, we really want to know a percentage, okay? I have a 50% chance of rolling an odd number if I roll a dice, okay? So let's take a look at the next example, okay? Uh, and on this one, um, it says, suppose a bag contains four red, three green, six blue, and two yellow marbles, Okay. What is the probability a randomly chosen marble will not be yellow? Okay, so let's take a look here. I've got, let me write some things down. I've got four red, I've got three green, I've got six blue, and I've got two yellow. 
how many total marbles do I have? Like, what are my total options here? So the total marbles is 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 6 is 13, plus 2 is 15. So I have 15 total marbles, okay? And I want to figure out what's the probability that if I chose a marble that it won't be yellow, okay? So the, the, uh, the wording is a little bit weird. So um, I'm going to do this, okay? So the, the marbles that are not yellow are all of the other marbles, okay? So I've got four red, three green, six blue. So I've got 13 marbles that are not yellow, okay? So if I were to write this out in probability notation, I would say P parentheses of not yellow is simply going to be my expected outcome is 13. Those are my possible out of the total amount, which is 15. So 13 divided by 15 is a decimal comes out to about 0.86 and the six repeats. Okay. And so as a, as a, uh, as a percentage, that's going to be 86.6%. And the six repeats, we can keep, just keep it like that. You could even round this up to like 86.7%. Uh, if you wanted to be more technical, but that, you know, something along those lines, any one of these three would be reasonable. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. It's pretty simple. Um, you got to think about, okay, what's the total uh, outcomes that you could possibly have, and then what outcomes are you looking for? So take the outcomes that you're looking for and divide it by the total, and that'll give you your percentage, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it.